The movie begins with a scorpion fighting several ants and a boy named Satoshi Hasashi watching them. His father Hanzo says his life is cruel and the scorpion has a strong will. He makes Satoshi promise to make his mind and heart strong. And they rush back home to have dinner. They enter the town, but Hanzo notices that it is strange. He moves around slowly and is suddenly attacked by an assassin from another clan called the Lin Kuei. He kills the assassin and fights off the others that attack him. Hanzo and Satoshi move around as they avoid the assassins and arrive at their house. Hanzo searches for Harumi, his wife, but is shocked as he finds her dead. Satoshi cries as he sees his dead mother, but Hanzo gets angry. Several assassins enter the room, but Hanzo kills them in anger. Satoshi watches as his father fights the assassins, but suddenly feels cold. The assassins begin to run as Hanzo pursues them, but he catches up to them and kills them. He then gets surrounded, but easily kills his enemies and dismembers an assassin's body. Hanzo finds himself on a bridge, but a man named Sub-Zero merges with Satoshi. Sub-Zero threatens to kill Satoshi if Hanzo moves forward. And Hanzo asks him what he wants. He instructs Hanzo to get on his knees and freezes him in place while freezing Satoshi's neck. Sub-Zero kills Satoshi as Hanzo watches angrily and he cannot escape the ice. He begins to break out of the ice angrily and tells Sub-Zero that he will die but Sub-Zero kills him without hesitation. Liu Kang mediates in a large temple and has several candles around him. The candles suddenly go out, and Liu Kang notices that someone is in the room. The strange figure attacks Liu Kang, but he dodges and fights back. The figure moves through the shadows as it fights him, but Liu Kang predicts its movements and knocks it down. He realizes it is Lord Raiden and apologizes, but Raiden is impressed and says it is time. Raiden turns on the candles with his lighting and says they must prepare because others will gather. A woman yells at a man named Johnny Cage and tells him that he should grow up as she storms out of his house. Johnny sits on his couch and pulls his phone out of a pizza box to answer a phone call. He talks to his agent and celebrates as he agrees to go to China. Meanwhile, Sonya Blade fights a man in a street fight, and he knocks her down. She remembers her time in the military with Jax, and she overcomes all the odds against her. Sonya gets up, beats the man, and knocks him out cold. A man in an alley gives her a scroll, and she threatens to harm him if this info is inaccurate. Anzo wakes up in the Nether Realm and finds himself suspended by blades that go through his arms and legs. A demon emerges and prepares to torture him as it says his screams will join the other screams to please Lord Shinnok. The demon stabs Hanzo as it begins to torture him, but he begins to mumble. It leans in to listen to what he is saying, but he bites off its ear and uses its blood, which is made of lava to free himself. Hanzo uses a blade to kill the demon, and several demons emerge and surround him. They say he made a big mistake by killing their member, and they proceed to attack him, but he fights them all. Anzo throws a demon's head on a floating platform and climbs on it. He sees Quan Chi and attacks him as he says he wants to return home. Quan Chi uses his powers to push him away and tells him about the Mortal Kombat tournament and instructs him to retrieve a key that he can use to free Shinnok from his imprisonment. He promises to help Hanzo have his revenge on Sub-Zero, and Hanzo says his name is Scorpion. Johnny runs and jumps onto a boat as it moves. He introduces himself to Raiden and the others, and Raiden says they must win the tournament to save Earthrealm. They cross the veil that serves as a boundary, and a giant ship moves beside them. Scorpion stands on the ship, and Johnny says he looks like a bad guy. The group enters a huge island temple and sees several strange creatures. Shang Tsung emerges and addresses the warriors. He says a realm must win the tournament ten times to take over the other realms, and Outrealm has won the last nine tournaments. Scorpion sneaks around and kills two guards standing before a statue. He opens the statue and makes his way through the door. Shang Tsung decides to provide entertainment, and Kano emerges with Jax as his prisoner. Sonya rushes to help, but a barrier blocks her, and she continues hitting it. Jax assures her he will be fine and tells Shang Tsung he wants to leave. Shang Tsung shows him the exit, but says he must defeat his champion before leaving. Goro emerges as several people chant his name. 
and he gets on stage. He towers above Jax, takes off his robe, and reveals himself to have four arms. Jax tries to fight Goro, but his punches are ineffective, and Goro knocks him to the barrier as Shang Tsung watches in amusement. Meanwhile, Scorpion attempts to steal the key, but Raiden enters and stops him. He says that Quan Chi is not to be trusted, and encourages Scorpion to act like a free man. Goro continues beating Jax, throwing him around, and the audience celebrates. Shang Tsung tells him to stop playing with his food, and Goro picks Jax up, rips Jax's arms off, and prepares to kill him. But Raiden emerges. He says the Mortal Kombat tournament hasn't started as he heals Jax and knocks Goro down. As he tries to attack him, Raiden reminds them that they have come for Mortal Kombat and not to be barbarians. And Kano takes Jax away. Johnny, who thinks he is on a movie set, says the CGI is lame. Sonya cries as she is angry, and Shang Tsung spreads everyone across the island as they begin Mortal Kombat. Johnny appears in an abandoned castle and moves around as he doesn't see anyone. He sees several barrels full of gunpowder and walks to the kitchen in search of food. A monstrous man named Baraka emerges and attacks Johnny, but Johnny dodges. He runs around as Baraka uses his blades to attack him, and Baraka causes sparks that set the building on fire. They run around as the gunpowder explodes and the building begins to collapse. Johnny successfully escapes as he jumps onto a tree, but Baraka does not escape. Sonya walks through the woods and an invincible figure hits her. It continues hitting her and knocks her to the ground. She begins to run as it pursues her, and she asks it to face her like a man. She sits under a tree and it emerges and spits acid at her. She runs to a muddy swamp and uses mud to make Reptile visible. Sonya defeats Reptile with ease and beheads him. A Lin Kuei warrior runs around the forest and Scorpion attacks him. He asks the warrior for Sub-Zero's location, but the warrior refuses to speak and Scorpion kills him. Liu Kang fights Katana and says he doesn't want to hurt her. He knocks her down several times and says he will do whatever it takes to win the tournament. Katana asks Liu Kang what makes him think he will win, and he says he has hope. She yields as she walks away, and Shang Tsung is impressed at the Earthrealm fighters. He then mentions that Black Dragon mercenaries are on the island with instructions to kill Earth's champions, and Raiden gets angry. Shang Tsung says he didn't bring them to the island, and Raiden says his plan won't succeed. Johnny sits under a tree and Sonya startles him. He tells her they aren't in a movie and she says they must stick together. Liu Kang joins them and says the tournament will get more difficult. Johnny is unhappy as he says he doesn't do his own stunts and he holds Sonya. She immediately kicks him in the groin and tells him no one touches her without permission. Liu Kang says they'll have to make a camp and rest and they hear screaming from afar. The trio enters a clearing and sees Scorpion killing several Black Dragon warriors. Liu Kang and Sonya prepare to fight him, but Johnny intervenes and says they can rest instead of fighting. The group forms a campfire and Raiden emerges. He tells them that the island is between realms and tells them to be on guard. Scorpion tells them to hide in the jungle until the tournament ends, but they refuse and he leaves. The trio continues moving, but a black dragon warrior watches them. Scorpion then uses his chain to kill the warrior. The trio arrives at a bridge, and several black dragon warriors emerge surrounding them. Liu Kang says they will survive, and realizes one of the warriors is Scorpion in disguise. Scorpion kills three soldiers with one attack and begins to kill the others. Liu Kang calms himself as several soldiers surround him, and he dodges their bullets. He begins to fight them, breaking their bones as he defeats them. The soldiers grab him, but he breaks free and knocks them down as Kano climbs a building and begins shooting. Sub-Zero suddenly emerges, knocking Kano down. Scorpion sees Sub-Zero and rushes at him in anger. A fight ensues as Scorpion tells Sub-Zero he will die for what he did, and Sub-Zero is confused. He stabs Sub-Zero with daggers made of ice and jumps off the bridge. They get impaled by a large spike, and Sub-Zero dies while Scorpion passes out. 
Meanwhile, Kano stands up as he says he isn't being paid enough for the stress of what he is going through. He runs away as Sonya pursues him in anger. Liu Kang tells Johnny that Raiden said his path would be made clear during the tournament, and he realizes that following Sonya is his path. Johnny follows Sonya after shaking hands with Liu Kang, and Liu Kang walks to the castle. Quan Chi emerges beside Sub-Zero and Scorpion, telling Scorpion he is disappointed. He tells Scorpion he is as weak as his wife and child, and Scorpion is shocked. Quan Chi says Sub-Zero isn't the one who attacked and wiped out his clan. He confesses to using sorcery to pretend to be Sub-Zero and had the Lin Kuei obey his commands. Quan Chi leaves and Scorpion remembers when he told his son about the will of the Scorpion against the ants. He then grabs the spike and pushes himself out. Sonya enters a building and sees Jax in a room. Kano releases several demons and she tries to fight them but gets knocked down. Liu Kang enters the castle and Shang Tsung is impressed by his survival. He then releases Goro and the final fight of the tournament begins. Goro overpowers Liu Kang and Shang Tsung instructs Quan Chi to pour wine into cups in preparation for their victory. Quan Chi then smiles as he pours poison into a cup. The demons prepare to eat Sonya, but Johnny emerges saving her. He fights the demons and Sonya joins him in defeating them. They defeat the demons and get to Kano, who threatens to kill Jax. Jax bites his hand and Sonya hits him. She then dodges his laser but hits him with a hammer and knocks him down. Goro continues overpowering Liu Kang and Shang Tsung grabs Quan Chi for betraying him. Goro prepares to kill Liu Kang but Scorpion emerges and kills him. He says he has come for Quan Chi and Shang Tsung instructs him to defeat Liu Kang. Liu Kang prepares to fight, but Scorpion grabs Shang Tsung and yields. Earthrealm wins the tournament, and Shang Tsung says Emperor Shao Kahn will have his revenge. Shang Tsung leaves the island and it begins to crumble. A fight ensues between Scorpion and Quan Chi, and Scorpion knocks him down. He stabs Quan Chi, punches him several times, and rips off his arms. He then kills him by ripping off his head and burning his body with fire from his mouth. The building crumbles above him, and Scorpion closes his eyes. Liu Kang and the others escape on a ship, and Johnny celebrates their victory. Raiden tells Liu Kang that his destiny is to defeat Shao Kahn. Meanwhile, Shang Tsung speaks to Emperor Shao Kahn, and Shao Kahn instructs him to gather their forces so they can end the game once and for all. The End Thank you for watching, please check out these other videos and make sure to subscribe and tap that bell icon to be notified about our latest videos. We'll see you next time.